Hi, welcome to another session with Saptavarna Creations. Today in this session, I'm going to show you how to make a wooden jewelry. So in the jewelry, I have taken the topic of Jumka today. So these are the Jumka wooden base which are readily available in the market. And we can buy this with any size, any size. So I have a few sizes here. So this is the smallest one, this is the medium one and this is the biggest one. So I have taken the medium one today and I am going to show you how to paint on this medium sized Jumka base of a wooden jewelry. So now for that, let's see what are the materials needed for it. Wooden base, head pin, fish hooks, any beads of your choice, acrylic colors, brush, a cutter and a plier. Now I'll show you how to start with this. This is varnish. Giving varnish is absolutely uh, optional. This will give a glossy look to your um, uh, jewelry. At the same time, if you don't want to give the uh, glossy look, you can always go for a matte finish varnish or anything else. A lot of varnish are available in the market. I use this one, a glossy one. So if you don't give them uh, a varnish, uh, just you need to maintain a little more uh, your jewelry. You need to maintain your jewelry a little more because um, this will give us a protective coat and it won't get peeled off or something like that. And if you don't give the varnish, just take care of your jewelry a little more and it's absolutely fine. Now I'm going to use a red color for my jumka now. So mix little water. Don't make it too thick and don't make it too thin and start giving the red color to the Junka base. Mostly one coat should be sufficient. If you are not happy with the one coat and if you feel that you definitely need one to give one more coat, make sure your Junka is dry and, and then you give the second coat. You can give any color. I have just taken red. Similarly, just paint the, a little bit inside so that the gap won't be visible. Acrylic colors are best one to use and if you give it with varnish then yes it becomes a waterproof as well. Okay, now this has to dry before we give a decoration to it. Okay, now my red color is completely dry. So I am going to give some design using black on this. Take a fine brush and start giving the design. You can give any designs. Start slowly. If 
leaving in the fridge as well. There is no limit for the creativity. You can just give anything. This wooden jewelry is very very easy to make as well. And you can give any any designs. You can paint a warli on it. You can paint a madhubani on it, or you can just give any freehand painting to it. This will give a very very good look. Okay. Now I have finished giving few star like things in my wooden jewelry and now I am going to give a little bit of yellow in the center. Make sure your black is dry before you start giving this. Wow, it's really looking great. It's very simple but at the same time it really looks beautiful. Okay, now you can see the Junka. See, now I have given a few designs on the top. Now if you want, you can give, you can color the inner sides as well. Now this is completely dry. So I'm going to give varnish to it. The more varnish you apply, the more glossy it will be. So if you want, you can always give a second coat if you want. Okay, so now this, let it dry for some time. Now it's completely dry. So now I'm going to show you how to fix a fish hook to this. For that, since the hole in the middle is little big, I'm going to insert a bead, any bead of your choice, and just insert the head pin inside the junk. So it will be like this. Now it's totally your creativity what you want to put. I'm going to put one bead cap here and a black bead and a small chakra. And if you want you can use anything on the top. I think I will use a little black bead. It is not necessary that you have to follow the same thing. You can use whatever you want. Okay, now this is done. And I will show you how to insert the fish hook. You will have a loop in the end. Insert your head pin inside the loop. And hold the jumka and your beads properly. Now, take your plier and just twist it around. And then just press the edge. If the edge is open, you can just press it. 
my jhumka is done similarly i have finished the second one as well now you can see the difference between the varnished one and the non varnished one that is the reason i haven't varnished the second jhumka to show you so this is the one which is giving a little glossy look and this is not giving a little glossy look so now my jhumka is really beautiful and it's just it takes minutes to do this see similarly you can give anything i have done one more to show you so this is also one of the jhumka which i have done using the wooden jhumka base um i have used multi multi color for this one so i have used a lot of colors in this and i have attached a black um bead and i finished the jhumka in the same way hope you have enjoyed this session stay tuned for the next session bye bye